This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. Welcome back to another episode of Rettinger's Rants. This is the show where I rant, rave, give an opinion on anything going on in the world of technology. Up this week in my crosshair, we've got the Samsung versus Apple court case. I want to break down why I think this is actually a good thing for Samsung. Let's get ranting. If you follow the world of technology, you've undoubtedly heard about the Samsung Apple court case that's been going on for years. The verdict is finally in, and Samsung owes Apple a billion-ish dollars. That number is potential to double or possibly triple, depending on what the judge decides. But of course, Samsung has the option to appeal, but that's not the point in this video. There's been a lot of editorials, videos, texts on why this is an absolute catastrophic blow for Samsung, for the Android community, and I've been contributing to that. I thought that if Apple won, it was a real shot to the consumers and that we were going to lose. But the more I thought about it, the more I read about it, uh, the more I thought that actually this might be a good thing for Samsung. So hear me out. Uh, first, I want to cite Robert Scoble, he's an Apple pundit, which actually he was the first one that sort of started talking about this idea, uh, and it sort of made sense to me. So the notion is that over the past three, five years, uh, Samsung has been able to essentially steal, according to the courts, Apple's designs, R&D, to make devices. Now in that process, Samsung has become the number two most profitable mobile phone manufacturer in the market. Now keep in mind though that all these phones that were cited that Samsung violated were older generation phones from three, two, three-ish years ago. These weren't the Galaxy S3, these weren't the Galaxy Nexus devices of today. The reason those weren't included is these court cases take a long time to build to finally get into a jury. So by the time Apple filed their complaints years ago, those are the phones that were out. So if Apple wanted to file suit now against the Galaxy S3, by the time it got to a jury, we'd probably be on the Galaxy S5. When Apple makes a product, they have to spend millions and millions of dollars to figure out how a design looks and feels, what it looks like when you pick it up, what it feels like. Samsung was able to be, let's say, heavily influenced by that, without having to commit their own R&D dollars, at least to the same extent that Apple did. So they are able to save profit or save money, obviously raise profit, and sell the phones at a lower price. And during all that time, again, they became the number two uh, most profitable mobile phone manufacturer. And all they had to pay, essentially, was a billion dollars plus legal fees. Now, to put it in perspective, think about what Microsoft did with Skype a few years ago, when they bought Skype for about $8 billion. And it certainly doesn't turn out the way they thought, at least yet, but Samsung was able to spend one eighth of what Microsoft bought Skype for. It's able to become the second most profitable mobile phone manufacturer. That's a pretty big victory. They've certainly made more than billions. They've got billions in their war chest. Certainly it's gonna hurt their bottom line, but it's not going to kill them at all. Uh, I'm sure if someone told Samsung, listen, for a billion dollars, you eventually can buy all of Apple's patents they would have jumped up the opportunity. And essentially, that's kind of what they did. Whether or not you know, Apple should have issued those patents is another argument, but Apple does have those patents, and they do have the right to defend them, regardless of what you or I think about it. I think the bigger issue here, and this is a topic for another video, is a very broken patent system in the US. Samsung clearly violated them. But in doing so, and kind of skirting the law, uh, they were able to really maximize their profits and really only pay a very minimal fine. Now, a billion dollars to you and me sounds like a gigantic number. In fact, I can't even count how many zeros. Well, no, I can't count how many zeros. Samsung now has certainly learned their lesson, at least presumably has learned that we won't see those patents be violated in the future, or perhaps we will. And every three years, Samsung will just pay Apple a billion dollars and continue to make more money. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So we get a ton of sponsors here on Techno Buffalo. This is a sponsor though with a really important message. I want to take a minute to thank the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. You should never drive drunk. You should never drive tipsy. If there's a question whether you can drive or not, always err on the side of caution. If you drive drunk, quite frankly, you're an idiot. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth injuring yourself, your passenger, somebody else on the road, a child, a father, a mother, a brother, a sister. It's never worth the risk. Call a cab sleep it off, whatever you gotta do. Don't get anywhere near a car if you've had anything to drink. Did you guys know that impaired driving is actually one of America's deadliest crimes? In 2010, more than 10,000 people died in car crashes in which a driver or motorcycle rider was at or over the legal blood alcohol limit of 0.08. Too many Americans dying needlessly in car crashes likely could have been prevented if alcohol wasn't involved. Moral being, 
don't drive drunk. Be smart about it. That's a really good message and one I think everybody should listen to. So what do you guys think about the Apple versus Samsung case? Do you agree with me? Am I way off base? I wanna hear what you have to say. Thank you guys for checking this video out. For all your latest tech news, be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for news, rumors, editorials, videos, hands-on, anything else you could think of from the wide, wide world of technology. I'm John Rettinger, see you in the next video.